It was a cold, desolate night as Emily stood alone on the dimly lit subway platform. The rhythmic echoes of her footsteps reverberated against the cold, tiled walls. The flickering, fluorescent lights cast eerie shadows, painting the scene in a haunting ambiance. As she anxiously awaited the train, little did Emily know that the real horror was about to unfold. The platform was unusually quiet, devoid of the usual hustle and bustle. Emily's breath hung in the frigid air as she wrapped her arms around herself, trying to ward off the chill that seemed to seep through her bones. The distant sound of dripping water echoed in the tunnel, adding a mysterious layer to the atmosphere. As she waited, Emily's eyes wandered to the abandoned subway carts stationed on the parallel track. Graffiti-covered doors stared back at her, a testament to the transient artistry that adorned the underground world. Unbeknownst to her, the subway system held secrets that were as chilling as the draft that swept through the tunnels. Suddenly, a distant hum emerged, growing louder with each passing moment. Emily's pulse quickened, and she strained her eyes to see the approaching train. The dim light at the end of the tunnel flickered erratically, casting long shadows that danced menacingly across the platform. When the train finally arrived, it did so with a screeching halt that sent shivers down Emily's spine. The doors creaked open, revealing an almost empty interior. Hesitant, Emily stepped into the dimly lit subway car, her senses on a high alert. The air inside felt heavy, and the only sounds were the rhythmic clatter of the wheels against the tracks. As the train ventured deeper into the labyrinthine tunnels, Emily's unease intensified. The windows offered only glimpses of the subterranean world outside, a world that seemed to be closing in on her. The graffiti on the tunnel walls morphed into indiscernible shapes, resembling twisted figures that seemed to dance in the darkness. Emily clutched her bag, the rhythmic beating of her heart sinking with the ominous hum of the train. Abruptly, the lights flickered, plunging the car into momentary darkness. Panic set in as Emily heard a distant whisper, a symphony of ghostly voices that seemed to reverberate from the very walls of the subway. A chilling realization dawned on Emily as she stared wide-eyed into the blackness. The subway was not just a means of transportation. It was a labyrinthine realm where the past, present, and the spectral converged. The voices grew louder, echoing tales of forgotten tragedies that permeated the very essence of the underground. Terrified, Emily pressed her back against the cold subway car desperate for the approaching station. The flickering lights returned, revealing fleeting glimpses of phantom figures in the reflections on the windows. The train rattled on, a vessel between the living and the spectral. As the train slowed to a stop, the doors creaked open, releasing Emily from the claustrophobic grasp of the subterranean symphony. Trembling, she stepped onto the platform, haunted by the chilling echoes that lingered in her mind. The darkness of the tunnel swallowed the departing train, leaving her alone with the unsettling realization that the subway held secrets far more terrifying than she could have ever imagined.